Hello everyone and welcome to the D Hard House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. I'm coming to you from my home in the Pacific Northwest of Washington State in the United States. Uh, today is December something, December 10th. Yeah, I'm way behind on this November makes video um, for reasons like being busy. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to show you the few things that I worked on in the month of November, kind of talk about what's been going on and planning for the end of the calendar year. Oh my goodness. So I'm sipping on some of my favorite tea. This is from Harney and Sons. It is hot cinnamon spice. I don't know if you can read that tag. Um, and finally, a Christmas mug makes sense because it's December. <laughs> uh, but I have some tea going. Um, yeah. So the month of November. Uh, the month of November includes uh, Thanksgiving in the United States. So um, Thanksgiving break happened, which means... Um, as a college professor, we get Thursday, which is the holiday, off of school as well as Friday. So that week is a three-day work week. We get two days off. And so for Thanksgiving, uh, Michael and I drove down to Northern California to visit family. So we did the whole driving thing for Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> and... Yeah, the weather did not super cooperate. I mean, the, the roads were not snowy, but it was, uh, there was a lot of traffic, there was fog, there was smoke from fires. Um, I doubt it was a forest fire, um, but there was, it was smoky. Um, it was raining a little bit at one point. So it was just slow going on the way down because of all of those factors and then the way back was very nice <laughs> sure whatever um but uh no knitting happened during thanksgiving because we were uh, driving and spending time with family so i decided to put my knitting away <laughs> um and and hang out so we did that um, let's see. Also in November is, so it's December 10th now. Um, yesterday was my last day of the, of the term. We are now on winter holiday. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of the month of November is just like getting ready for the end of the term. So it was busy. There were, there was a holiday, family activities, um, so not a lot of things got worked on. Despite that, I did work on things. <laughs> so I did finish um, a pair of socks for um, for a gift. So these are going to be sent in the mail. Actually, coming up on Monday, I'm gonna put it in the in the take it to the post office and send this off. Uh, but these are a Christmas gift. So this is more of the Patton's Croix yarn that Michael spotted for me at Hobby Lobby on clearance. These, uh, the striped colorway is called 70s Stripes. And the heels are out of gray marl. And this is that Eye of Partridge heel flap with a garter stitch edge on it. And yep, I did one by one, yeah, one by one ribbing for these socks. Uh, continued that down the top of the foot and then a rounded toe. So these are finished. I think I still need to weigh them so I can calculate my yardage. Um, but yeah, I finished a pair of socks. Very simple pattern. I think they should fit the recipient very well. It did use up pretty much the whole ball of, of yeah, I used a ball for each. It's a 50 gram ball. And I had like the tiniest little thing left over from the two balls I wound it together. 
tiniest little bit left over. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forget that I used to do more contrasting toe, contrasting cuff. So I used to have more left over than I do now, but honestly, I'm totally fine with this, like using up most of the ball in the sock and having just like the tiniest little bit left over. So that worked out. It's pretty sad, but uh, those socks are the only thing I finished in the month of November. Um, yeah, that's it. Speaking of which, not speaking of which, um, I forgot to mention at the top of the episode, I am wearing a hat just because I felt like wearing one. Um, this is called the Brio Starter Hat, I believe. Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I used leftover uh, Lion Brand Mandala. Uh, yeah, Mandala is the name. Uh, it's a self striping. Um, usually uh, cake in a cake in the store and you can see the stripes in the top of the cake um, but I had some leftover so you can see it goes from light blue to this bluish gray into more of a gray gray and then I've got this kind of navy throughout so um, but it's a nice warm hat it fits both Michael and I and I want to make more of them <laughs> um, but yeah so I didn't finish anything else, but in the month of November, I did make more progress on my um, hand spun shawl that I'm doing a little bit of color work on and I'm knitting it in the round with a steak. So uh, I spun 12. 12 uh, skeins of yarn. They're not full skeins. They're, what are they, around 30 grams each. And um, some of them are different colors and some of them are neutrals. And what I'm doing is rolling a 12-sided die to randomly choose the next color. Um, so I've got, I'm keeping track here with a whole list so I I'm rolling this this die to randomly choose the next color in the sequence uh, and then when I finish knitting that color I, I check it off so at any given time sorry just shuffling my items here any given time I have two colors on at once so this one's attached this one is about to get attached this is color 10 this is color eight. <laughs> um, and so what I'm doing is just like the most basic color work you could possibly do, which is every other stitch. And so sometimes due to the nature of randomness, uh, sometimes the colors are really clustered. Like here, there was a lot of red because um, that number got rolled a few times in a row or in this cluster here. There's a big patch of gray. That number showed up, I think, three times in a row. Um, but otherwise, it just, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. So I'm knitting this on, uh, okay, I did not drop any stitches. <laughs> I'm knitting this on my Chowgu needles, which are my absolute favorites. This is a U.S. size 4 needle, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And I can tell it's my size 4 because I have a little bit... You can't see that. There we go. I um, crunched it just a little bit in a uh, recliner chair and caught it because this is the second time I've done that. Caught it before it went too far, and so I still use this needle, it works fine. Um, I don't use that recliner much anymore. Keeps eating my knitting needles. Um, but yeah, I made progress on this, and I set it aside for December because um, 
and honestly towards the end of November because I started knitting Christmas gifts. Who starts knitting Christmas gifts at the end of November? I mean, what was I thinking? Uh, so, uh, one of them I just finished today, but I started that a few days ago. So I will, I will record a video because it's going to go in the post. Um, but I will show you that in my December makes video. Um, another one is on hold right now because I ran out of yarn halfway through. Thought I had more yarn in the stash. Don't. So order some. Yeah, so I have yarn coming. Uh, so that is on hold until I get more yarn, which means the things I was going to knit for Christmas are all done at this point, except for the project I have on hold because I ran out of yarn. That yarn has not arrived yet in the mail. I don't think it'll be here for another week or so. So I think I'm going to pick up my shawl again, my Colorwork hand spun shawl. Because I'd really, I would really love to finish that this year and count the yardage for this year. I think that would be fantastic. So that's all that I really worked on for the month of November. It was mostly just busy, busy with work. Um, I just felt tired with the, the time change and the, the increased darkness and I just didn't feel like working on much uh, in the way of craftiness. So uh, not much happened in the month of November with that respect. Um, so my plan to wrap up this calendar year 2022 is to, um, I'm currently working on a mystery knit along uh, by Imagined Landscapes. It's the Gnome Made Gifts MCAL. Excuse me. Um, so I'm working on that as a part of my December Advent knitting. Um, I just finished two of the three Christmas gifts, so yay. Um, so my other plan is to finish the third one. Um, so whenever I get the yarn, whenever I finish it, if I finish it in January, so be it. Um, but I'd love to finish it this year and count it for this year. Um, I'd also love to finish my hand spun color work shawl that I'm rolling a die to choose colors randomly. I think it'd be great to finish that this year. And then that's, that's almost everything on my needles. I have one project that is languishing. Um, I have two, um, Saginaw socks. Saginaw socks are a pattern that I released this year, earlier this year, I believe. Um, and I have, have one sock in red and one sock in green. One is a, a longer sock and one, one is a shorty sock. And I haven't knit the second sock of either of those. Mm -hmm. um, that is not going to get done this year. <laughs> I already know that. Um, but I would like to finish um, those pairs early in... 2023 so I can get that project off of my needles and get those needles back for more sock knitting. Um, so those are my big plans for finishing out this calendar year and by finishing I mean finishing projects that are on the go. I have lots of ideas of new things to start. <laughs> um, so I'm of course excited about starting new projects and I'm I'm definitely excited to share with you in my December makes video um, new things that I got this month because <laughs> I've already been playing with them so spoilers um, there will be new stuff to share with you in the December makes video and by new stuff I mean new um, tools added to my repertoire um, <laughs> <laughs> also, I have new yarn on the way. Uh, it's not here yet, but I did order some. So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what we're doing for Christmas. I feel like plans are being made and changed and and they're just morph. They'll morph into what they will be. They're still in the morphing stage. 
Um, so we may have people here, we may not, I don't know. Um, and so I'm just enjoying um, being able to sleep in a little bit, just chill out on the couch at home with Marjorie, our Black Labrador, and just enjoy living in the Pacific Northwest, getting out, walking. Um, the snow is all melted now, which is sad. <laughs> Um, but, uh, maybe we'll get some more for Christmas. We'll see. So it's time to announce the winner of the last giveaway of 2022. Uh, that winner is going to receive a pattern prize off of Ravelry. So up to a $10, that's US dollar value. Um, just send me a Ravelry message. Let me know which pattern you would like me to purchase for you as a gift and you can add it to your library on Ravelry. And so that winner is going to be chosen randomly from the comments on the Octo October Makes video. Words are hard sometimes. Uh, and so that winner is Vicki Shaw. Vicki, congratulations. You are the winner of the pattern prize. So send me a message on Ravelry. My username is Knits 2 You can find it down below in the description box. Um, just send me a message. Let me know which pattern you would like me to buy for you as a gift. Um, it can be by anyone in any currency, just when it's converted 10 US dollars or less. Um, and then I will purchase that for you as a gift and appreciation for watching and commenting um, and joining me on these journeys and journal logs <laughs> of what I've been doing. Um, I appreciate all of you. I hope that you have a fantastic December of 2022. Whatever celebrations you might be having, um, time off of work, picking up extra hours at work, Whatever the case may be, I hope you're safe and healthy and that you enjoy your crafts, whatever they may be. Until next time, take care. Bye.